Hi everyone, Mark Cavanis here for another Word Music Digital Reading Session. And with me in our studios today is Christy Simpson and Daniel Simpson. Welcome you guys. Thank you. And it's great to have you in Nashville all the way from Los Angeles. And uh, we're here to talk about a great new children's musical, Spend a While on the Nile. So we're so excited about this and tell us about it. Well, um, Spend a While in the Nile came out, um, it came out of a process when I was in a master's class learning about the people of God, studying Genesis and Exodus. And I just thought it was so powerful how that God never gave up on the Israelites. God never gave up on his people. So my theme verse for this was Exodus 3, 7 through 10, where God says, I have heard the cries of my people. I have seen your tears. And I put it in a fun little package where um, there's a cruise boat captain who is doing um, show tunes on the Nile River and telling stories of heroes that have lived near the Nile River. The problem is he gets the stories wrong and he tries to make them more and more exciting. And the kids end up correcting his stories, their Bible stories, and in the end the kids learn and teach Mr. Cruz that God's love for his people is more exciting than any crazy stories we could make up. Mm, that's great. That's great. So wonderful message, a lot of fun songs. What about the opening song? It is Spend a While on Spend the Nile. Spend a While on the Nile. It's fun. My husband put some fun Egyptian themed music in it, so there's room for a lot of fun Egyptian dancing. Uh, very upbeat, kind of just introduces the whole concept that we're going to spend a while on this cruise learning about the heroes um, on the Nile River. So perfect setup to the whole musical. So let's take a listen to a bit of the opening song in Spend a While on the Nile. Attention everyone! Nile Hero Cruises is now boarding. All aboard for an adventure through the mysteries of historic Egypt on the Nile River. I think this is it, guys. Let's get on the boat. We're off to take a cruise. See God's miracles in history. Knowledge we can use. All God's mighty power and history. Heroes of our faith we're gonna see. Servants of the King like you and me. All right, tell us about the next song, Christy. Okay. Well, the next song is the story of Joseph. And in a true Broadway style, Mr. Cruz tells his version of the story of Joseph in the Bible. Mm -hmm. Although partway through, the kids realize that he's getting the story wrong. Number one, because he says Joseph has sisters yeah. and not brothers. So there's some comic stuff that goes on with that. Yeah. And then um, he finishes the story by saying that the heroes of the story were the brothers who saved the day by throwing Joseph into the pit. Mm, and that's okay. how the song ends gotcha. until with the, the kick line. With the <laughs> kick line, there is a big kick line at the end, and it's just super, super fun. Brought away. The name of the song. The story of Joseph. There we go. Here's the story of Joseph. I think I know the story. Joseph was a shepherd boy. His father loved him so, and he gave his son a special coat. But his sisters, they knew he'd have to go. Sisters? Yes, sisters. May I continue? Yes, sorry. God gave Joseph dreams that one day would come true. Joseph wanted to follow God and asked him what to do. One, one night, night Joseph, Joseph had a dream. dream. We all had bundles of grain, my sisters and me. When all of a sudden mine rose up and yours all bound to me. Sorry, <laughs> excuse me. I'm pretty sure Joseph in the Bible had brothers. All right, now tell us about the next song, Christy. All right, the story of Joseph part two is where the kids correct Mr. Cruz's wrong telling of the story. So it's basically the kids performing, telling the story, and there's just a really sweet part where Joseph has this uh, solo that talks about how God has sent him to save God's people, and he didn't realize it, but through all the hardships he went through, God had a plan. Ah, so here's the story of Joseph part two.
Now the next song is an important song, I Am The Lord. Tell us about that. This is my favorite song of the whole musical. This is where it all comes together. When in Exodus 3, 7 through 10, God says his name Yahweh, which means I am the Lord, I have seen your tears, I've heard you calling. And it starts out really fun, it's Mr. Cruz telling the story wrong, and Moses in the bush um, have top hats and they do silly little things. And then they correct it halfway through, and um, it's just a theme song that says, I am the Lord, I have heard you calling, I am the Lord, I have seen your tears, I am. It's just basically the theme of the whole musical. Beautiful, here's I am the Lord. Next up, Poor Poor Pharaoh, a great blues song, perfect for you, Daniel, the man of a thousand different styles who does them all. Tell us about this one stylistically. Right. Had a blast with it. It's, it's real 12-bar blues. The kids in the choir love it. They, they all want to be a part of the blues. And yeah. they all want it to be Pharaoh, which I put in a key so that a girl or a boy can be Pharaoh for your choirs, wearing perfect. a Pharaoh headdress. That's good. And the uh, harmonica is on the track, so uh, the kid plays the harmonica, it looks like they're really playing it in this big breakdown in the middle. By far, the kids in my choir, it was their favorite song. Such a fun song. That's great. And there's a fun kit available with this musical as well, which has a harmonica in it, along with other fun stuff, so the kids can really get in the action on this one. Mm -hmm. So here's Poor Poor Pharaoh. with this one. Up next, I will bless you. Tell us about that one. Yes, this song harkens back to not something that happened by the Nile, but a promise that God made to Abraham, saying that he would bless him and make his descendants as numerous as the stars in the sky. It's a really sweet tune. Wow. Okay, here's I will bless you. Next up is Who's Like the Lord? Tell us about that one. 
Well, at this point in the musical, Mr. Cruz has gotten fed up with the fact that the kids keep correcting his stories, and he's oh. actually docked the boat and left. So there's trouble with there's sea. There's conflict, yes. Yeah, yeah. And the kids are telling his daughter, Liza, who's kind of his number two, um, about the promises that God's made to his people. And this song is just a straight-up worship song about when the Israelites had crossed the Red Sea, uh, and they were praising. And so it's Miriam's song, straight from Scripture, who is like the Lord. Here we go. Next, you've got a great story about how this next song got incorporated into the musical. Tell us about it. Well, uh, Christy was writing, and we were at a concert at Saddleback Church, and saw Jeremy Camp sing this song, You'll Never Let Go. And as we were singing, I went, this is exactly your story. This is, And so we, we put it in. And it's, it's a winner. The song is so good, and the kids love it. And Daniel did a great arrangement that just puts it in the perfect key for kids to sing. Here's You'll Never Let Go. Okay, now the last song, Spend a While on the Nile Reprise, wrapping things up, right? Yes, at this point Mr. Cruz has come back to the ship in the last song and the kids have spoken to him and he's understood a little bit more about God's love for his people. And this is just wrapping up our cruise on the Nile River and ending up with I Am the Lord, the theme song. Another wonderful message for these kids to internalize. So here's Spend a While on the Nile Reprise.
And there we have it, Spend a While on the Nile excerpts, and uh, we're so excited about this musical, you guys. And one of the things that thrills me most about it is that it so clearly imparts biblical truths. And, and, and really, that's kind of what you did. That's kind of your M.O., if you will, on how you wrote these songs, right, Chris? Right. I just love to put um, not only theologically rich things in these musicals, but also God's Word. And there's actually two songs in there. There's a few that are just straight scripture, but there's two songs that have Bible verses that the kids recite um, in the middle of the song, and because it's set to music, they memorize the Bible verse. So look for that in there, too. Absolutely. So thanks again, and again, it's our pleasure to have you folks in the Word family contributing, and uh, we look you. forward to lots more exciting things in the future. Meantime, spend a while on the Nile, take a great look at it, and thanks for tuning in to this Word Music Digital Reading Session.